So this is going to be a very, very long video. Um, to the point where I'm probably going to upload this in parts. So what this video is going to be is... So I found the Duel of the Fates script. I'll link it in the description if you want to read it for yourself and read along or just sit back and relax. Nonetheless, I have the actual script written by Derek Connolly and Colin Trevorrow um, right here. You obviously can't see it, but I have it in front of me. Um, I have not read this. I obviously know the plot point from it. Um, so, without further ado, here is Star Wars Episode 9. Starts episode nine, written by Derek Connolly and Colin Trevorrow, based on characters written by George Lucas. This was written on December sixteenth, two thousand sixteen. So Carrie Fisher is not dead. Okay. A long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away. And sorry if I'm not good at reading. Star Wars episode nine, Duel of the Fates. The iron grip of the First Order has spread to the furthest reaches of the galaxy. Only a few scattered planets remain un unoccupied, traitorous acts are punishable by death. Determined to suffocate a growing unrest, Supreme Leader Kylo Ren has silenced all communications between neighboring systems. Led by General Leia Organa, the Resistance has planned a secret mission to prevent their annihilation and forge a path to freedom. All right. Okay. Exterior space. A rich tapestry of stars reaching beyond all we know. Two sharp points of a space station enclose on the sides of a, f of a frame. As we drift backwards into the, gro into the glowing rectangular entrance of a docking bay. Interior, quite orbital ring, docking bay, day. First order transport touches down. A wide platform descends, revealing variety, revealing a variety of droids. A graphite BB unit carefully splits off from the group. Interior, quaint orbital ring, corridor, day. Crap. A calm div Oh wait, no, no, no. The graphite BB unit swerves to avoid the brutish labor droid. Scrapping BB's sp spherical side against the wall. His head tilts down, checking the scuff of the paint, revealing an orange beneath. It's BB-8, deep undercover. He lets out a familiar uh-oh and rotates his orange scuff beneath his head. A comm device blinks in into a cramp room, stacked with recycled Imperial gear. Rose Tico, adventure worn and battle ready, grabs with a gloved hand. BB-8, are you in? BB-8 beeps aff affirmative. Rose looks, <laughs> Rose looks up through the broken roof of the orbital ring and the sky above. Star Destroyers protrude from it like spikes on a punk bracelet. Rose continued, I need eyes on the checkpoint. Interior, Quay Orbital Ring, Day. BB-8 plunges into the scomp terminal. Anxious, tense, out the window, a, the glowing Kuwait moon. Sun cre creasing its, cor its horizons. Ah. Interior, surveillance den, Kuwait surface, day. Hollow monitor grid lights up, blurred by, by scrambled. Blurred and scrambled, rose str straps electro goggles over her cracked leather fli flight helmet at a boy rose pov images unscramble revealing security a security checkpoint the hud zone the hud zooms in the approaching dropship here they come oh. 
make sure you're quite moon security checkpoint day the dropship touches down in the canyon of a white and blue sedimentary rock kicking up a storm of silver sand stormtroopers shield their eyes as the craft spits into a new out of a out a new batch of migrant workers from all corners of the galaxy aliens and humans submitting from the fir- to the first order in exchange for safety and a scrap in a scrap of, of food Blah. stormtroopers funnel the migrants towards the weapons detector we notice finn disguised in rags among them checkpoint keep your head down a robe team and nods the face hidden underneath dusty headwear a bottleneck quickly forms the ragged aliens bark at each other in a dozen languages. Beast like D- Droven shoves Finn. Whoa, hey, no trouble here. The Droven grabs Finn's neck and with a single hand, lifts him up, teeth b- barred. Oh, shit. Trouble, trouble. The rogue human steps between them. Poe Dameron. Easy, pal. Poe po pulls the dried, three-eyed peckled fish from the leather pouch beneath his robe. Here, I couldn't finish it. The droven's eyes, eyes the fish, drops fin, eats. We notice Poe's hand on a concealed blaster beneath his robe. Finn regains his footing, clenching his neck. Thanks. Poe shoots a tense look. They move towards the scanner. How will we know if BB-8 hacked into the mainframe? The weapons scanner alarm. Stormtroopers pull out a mangly old gowl, Godel, out of the metal, out of the group. He pleads, pointing desperately at his metallic horns. Blaster fires. Well, no. Poe and Finn step up into the weapon scanner. Just as they enter, the machine shudders and clicks off. Stormtrooper 1. We lost power. Hold the line. Stormtrooper s- step in front of the scanner. Blaster smoking. Finn and Poe eye each other. Tense. Interior. Quake orbital ring. Day. BB-8 scomp link shudders and spins. A stormtrooper drops a crate of, spin- of spanners nearby. BB-8 startles. As they clatter across the floor, droids sweat. Droid sweat. Exterior Kuwait Moon Security Checkpoint Day. Storm. The stormtrooper smack, smacks the console as it powers up again with our armed lift and tr- infiltrators standing in it. No alarm. Go on, get moving. Our guys exhale, still alive. Um. Exterior, Kuwait workers call it day. Poe and Finn pass through the border wall to reveal a vast migrant settlement. Modular housing painted with colorful symbols from each worker's homeworld. Vibrant. A vibrant melting pot. The orbital ring looms above, connected to the planet's surface by a massive power shaft, plunged directly into the core. Its its eyes glow blue with the ship fueled energy mined here. <coughs> Poe locks eyes with Biscova, a fairy alien watching from a machine shop. Bis taps taps his cheek. That's our guy, says Poe. Nearby, a suspicious Tuscan face wrapped the Tuscan eyes of Finn and Poe as they follow Biscova inside the hut. Migrant hut. Day, interior. <coughs> Bug cheeked, hairless alien baby bounces in a hanging sea of cow stomach while Bis and his partner Dal Do- Dalkova brushes and Unappetizing roast with melt with melted fat. <laughs> Rose emerges from behind a beaded curtain in the back. 
You said two days. I've been here two weeks. This place doesn't seem so bad. Good people. Terrible food. Rose roll, rolls a canvas map onto the table. This is our access point. She drops a hollow chip and projects it. Projects the orbital ring into the power shaft plunged from it onto the moon's core. This power shaft delivers raw ore ex- to the orbital ring. A denotation directly into the energy stream. Here will cause a chain reaction. A blinking holographic light shoots up into the orbital ring, causing a series of explosions around the entire structure. And take down the whole thing. Poe. Finn looks up through the broken roof of the orbital ring. Above. A dozen star destroyers fueling up. Along with our new fleet. How do we know when we haven't... How do we know they haven't detected BB-8 signature? The alien baby starts to cry. Rose picks it up and rat. Picks up a rattle and shakes it. There's a lot we don't know. Oh, that is why we voted for the other plan. This is our, is when we second guess the plan right now. Rose sticks a sticks a finger into the alien baby's mouth. We can take out the energy fuel source and be and be light years away before they even know we hit before they even know it hit them. But we have to move now. Finn and Poe regard this odd moment. Rose has begun. Really has been down here a while. Okay, let's blow this thing and go home. Huh. Kuwait Colony. Day. Poe, Finn, and Rose pass migrant workers toward the massive power shaft base. Extending to the sky. Tuscan. The Tuscan follows them into the deep. In the deep background. BB-8, don't worry, I'm alive. Unlock the power shaft and get ready with that shuttle, Poe says. Interior, Kuwait orbital ring. Day. BB-8 detaches his scomp link and speeds down the corridor. Exterior, Kuwait colony, power shaft base. Day. The trio of space, of space gray mech troopers guard the door. Whack. Poe makes a short makes short work of the first mech trooper, knocking him unconscious. Finn and Rose quietly take down the other two with electric shock prods. <clears throat> Poe unlatches the device with the with, from the mech trooper's belt and throws it to Finn. He scans it on the wall. Interior power shaft base day. A massive cylinder of particle energy rushes upwards. Finn, Poe, and Rose approach it and gaze up, dwarfed. Poe will have to be twenty seconds. Will will have twenty seconds before the detonation. Uh, that's that's the word I was looking for. Give or take. Rose, give or take how long? Poe hands out three flying terminal um, detonators F- flying three flying thermal detonators okay Poe nice and easy just like pitching a plemento stick so like the equivalent of baseball you, uh, we didn't have that Poe activates his charge oh we're going now Poe on underhand tosses his charge into the stream where it, where it rockets upwards into the particle flow. Rose throws hers. Finn chucks his like a live grenade and runs. Poe into the comm. BB-8 bombs o- bombs are away. We'll meet you at the at the rally point. Interior maintenance shuttle dock day. BB-8 rolls into the into the droid slot of a tiny maintenance shuttle, old and forgotten. The ship powers up. Exterior, Kuwait Colony, power shaft, base day. Our heroes exit through the maintenance door. 
to find themselves face to face with a platoon of stormtroopers and mech troopers. Stormtrooper, drop your weapon. Migrant workers crane their necks from the village. This masked Tuscan raider looks above them. Poe eyes the orbital ring, anticipating an explosion. Distraction in three, two, one, now. Poe dives, rolls, head, his head covered, but nothing happens. Interior, great orbital ring, command center, day. First order rough officer is rushed to a security... Uh, is rushed to alert Steely, Admiral Vaughn. His screen, screen graphics show a contained blast in the power shaft. Officer, the blast shields have contained the explosion. Admiral, the systems are, all systems are stable. Vaughn looks down at the glowing Kuwait moon below. Scoffs. There are data tactics are pitiful. I'm going for the Grand Moff Tarkin. Exterior Kuwait colony power shaft day. Power shaft base day. Rose and Finn look up at the orbital ring, fully intact. Poe, any second now. Suddenly, a high-pitched wail spins them around. The hood and Tuscan raider steps forward, blades of blue light flash from, it, from its gloved hands. It's holding a dual lightsaber. The Tuscan takes down everything in its past, life and deadly with, blade, with the blade. Finn and Rose duck and fire away until they are surrounded by bodies, blasters smoking. The Tuscan Raider's mask hits the ground. It's Ray. Not the girl he last saw, a grown woman, powerful, strong. Finn, what are you doing here? Ray spins a, bl a bl spins and blocks a la laser blast we didn't see coming. Her ropes fall from her shoulders, revealing a battle-ready outfit of all black. A simple thank you would do. Would do. She throws down the double blade, like a, she throws the double blade like a boomerang. Ducks behind a power regulator as the spinning saber slices in its all on its path, then rises in time to catch it. And this time, the new weapon. This is the new weapon of her own design, made out of pieces of Anakin's broken lightsaber and her own staff. She wields it with grace. Poe ducks behind the generator, yells through lasers at Ray. You shouldn't have come here. You'd rather be killed? If it means you're safe, yeah. There's something more behind those words. Now is not the time. Definitely not the time. She force pushes a pack of eight, sending them clattering. Migrant workers point to Ray in awe, whispering, whispering, reverent. Children cheer, speaking a, a word they all know. Jedi, Jedi. More stormtroopers flood into the square, but migrant, migrants block their path to protect Ray. Some throw rocks, others swing hammers and tools. It's inspiring, a promise of revolution. Poe, we got it, Ray, we got to go. Ray hesitates, wanting to fight alongside these people. We have to help them. Poe eyes more troop transports and incoming TIE fighters. Not here. Not now. Ray knows he is right, but it kills her inside. She, she, she reluctantly follows her friends through the blast door. Finn moves to follow them, but his ankle is grabbed by a fallen stormtrooper. His helmet blasted open. They lock eyes. Recognition. A memory from long, from a long time, from long ago. Um, guys, I'm not a professional audiobook reader. Finn pulls free. Finn pulls free and continues on, but he is shaken. Interior Quake Orbital Room con Command Center Day. The off an officer races up to Admiral Vaughn. What's happened down there? Huh. Officer. The last Jedi is with them, sir. That's cool. Vaughn's confidence turns to fear. Alert the Knights of Ren. I don't know what I'm doing with this one. Exterior power shaft court day. 
Ray, Poe, Finn, and Rose rakes towards the maintenance turbo lift that, that runs the length of the power shaft to the ring above. Poe into a cum link. BB-8, we're coming up to you. Plan's gone sideways. Exterior space. BB-8 has already left the orbital ring in a shuttle on his, on his way to their re- rendezvous point. On the planet's surface, per the plan, he beeps in- incredulously. Exterior power shaft core day. Poe looks up to the ring above. We're going to need another ship. As I settle on the eclipse, a colossal star destroyer docked just above them, and every pirate ship to spit in space. Ray, you're not serious. Finn. An eclipse class dreadnought? You can't fly. I can fly anything. Rose hacks the turbo lift the glass door slides open. We're in. This is a nice little lack. Interior turbo lift day. Door slides shut, cutting off the sound. Clench everything. The turbo lift caps capsule rockets up into the tube, traveling from the planet's surface to the orbital ring in seconds. Interior quit orbital ring fueling dock. The turbo lift doors open to find the stern of the eclipse dreadnought right in front of them, miles wide. Thick fuel line detaches the propulsion engines, guide rovers, and shuttle supplies to the ship. You're, sh- you're sure about this? Po- nope. We had better odds on Rax's prime. Finn. It was not my fault. You needed to get. You need to get. You need to let Rax's prime go. They hop into a glide rover and speed off. Interior observation tower. Day. Admiral Vaughn watches the glide ri- glide rover rakes towards the eclipse. Where are they going? The glide rover disappears. Inside the docked destroyer, Admiral Vaughn cracks slightly as their plan dawns on him. They can't possibly. Admiral Vaughn turns over to a first order tech. Admiral Vaughn continued. How many men are on that ship? Just a just a bridge crew, sir. The rest the rest are are on dock leave. Interior eclipse destroyer bridge. Maximal navi- a massive navigational bridge dense with first order crew. A laser blast spins them around. Rose cocks her heavy weapon. Finn seals the door. Who's in charge here? Uh, that was said by Poe. Deck officer. Brave. I am. Poe. Great. I'm your new pilot. Improvising. Where does the pilot sit? Ray loses patience. Waves her palm towards the officer. You will set a course for the new Rion system. Deck officer. Set a course for the neuron system. The crewmen turn and take their positions at the console, mind tricked in EMOS. Poe and Ray take the helm, pressing buttons, guessing. Cold start the engines. We can jump to l- right to l- hyperspace if we overheat the laser cannon drive. That was right. This is cool. It's trying to. Poe, the exhaust will spill over into the propulsion system. So, Poe, the exhaust will split over. Ray continued into the propulsion systems. We can freeze the chambers. Poe looks at Poe looks at Ray they, as they flip switches. A gleam in his eye. Do you see how you and I we how we not the time, Ray? That's no. Poe, do you see? Uh, yeah, and Ray, yeah. Finn sits behind a massive control board with hundreds of buttons. Okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna need. Ev- I'm gonna need. I'm going to need very specific instructions. Said by Finn. Rose goes to work at the nav console. Shields up, setting calculations for light speed. Let's go. Don't rush me. I mess this. If I mess this up, then fly right into the sun. 
fin taps on a screen in front of him. The ship's interior lights click on. Finn, no, Finn says, I found the lights. I turn, I've turn. i turned on the lights. One of the crewmen snaps out of his mind trick and eyes Finn. Oh, shit. Ice Finn. Who are you? Whack. Finn knocks him out cold. Let's get somewhere else fast. Working on it. Mo eases his hand into the steering rig. Poe continue. Who is Who uses an inverted control yoke? Quit orbital space. The eclipse rough roughly. Dis- disengages and scrapes on, and scrapes its way out. Fuel con- conduits in hi- unhinge, and spit blue energy slicing through the dock's infrastructure. The ship interior light, <laughs> ship interior lights blink on and off on patch grids. Heavy cannons fire on the eclipse shield. Eclipse starts. Eclipse destroyer bridge space. Poe leans back. The craft dips down. Black, an empty part, is where we should be pointed. Oh, next page. I'm trying. Everything's backwards. Finn looks out the window at the planet rising into view as they tilt further down. Finn mocking. I can fly anything. Poe gains control of the craft's trajectory, but not on its axis. They are inverting. The planet rolls from the bottom of the massive front view to the top. Okay, we're rolling now. Do we have the droid? BB-8's maintenance craft is hit. Burning engineless 50 feet from the dock. He'll never make it around the comm. BB-8, now, BB-8 has to act. He jacks himself from the droid socket and floats 50 feet through cold, empty space. He passes through enough oxygen field and lands inside the hangar with a clank. Interior... Clip Star Destroyer Bridge Day. BB-8 beeps affirmative on the comm link. We got him. Rose can console flashes. Rose, good for light speed. Ray learns the past. Re, re, Ray leans past Poe and shoves the hyperdrive held forward. Bars of light streak screech out before them. Exterior Kuwait orbital ring space. The eclipse blurs and vanishes. Silence. We tilt up the stars running down. Whom? The jagged sinister ship appears from hyperspace. Knife nine. Shaped like an arrowhead with adjustable wings, we follow it back toward the orbital ring. Interior slash exterior. Kuwait orbital ring landing area space. Knife Nine lands on the exposed landing pad, protect, protected by quantum, sh- protected by a quantum shield from the cold dangers of space. The Knights of Ren appear from their ship. Haskta Ren, leader, armored, in a, cl- in a camp in caped in black. Ot Ren and Laurel Ren seem to be working as a duo. Jedic Ren the, is the rogue. His mask evoking an angry ghost. Haska eyes the the scene. He turns ominous mask gaze to Admiral Vaughn. Here we meet him. Admiral Vaughn, we've uploaded the veil cipher to the droid. 
We'll have their location in a moment. In a moment, a probe with his own range. Ren, Hoska Ren draws his dark saber and cuts Vaughn down. A few stormtroopers instinctively raise their weapons. The other knights of Ren and Wit raise their heavy blasters. The officers and stormtroopers tense and afraid. The knights holster their weapons and return to their ship, leaving Admiral Vaughn's body cut body in their wake all right guys that will do it for part one of this i'm gonna be releasing these pretty much i don't know but this one's a lot a little bit longer i don't know i'm just gonna find good stopping points in each of these um videos and i'm at the very end of reading all of them i will um um, give my official Duel of the Fates review, and then I'll do, I'm 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 doing all that Duel of the Fates content. Um, anyway, let me let me know what you think. Um, yet once again, the links in the description for the um, PDF file if you want to read it for yourself. <coughs> so anyway, guys, I'm gonna get going. Make sure to like and subscribe. See y'all next time.